Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing does money printing cause inflation in the economy? In this presentation, we shall be using some concepts of modern monetary theory. So, money printing will see how money creation happens in the private sector and that can also cause inflation. We will be challenging the, the urban legend that government money printing always causes inflation and we will see how inflation may or may not happen due to money printing by government as, in, as it can also happen through money creation in the private sector. Before we start, we'll have a brief con context of the modern monetary setup where we'll discuss how money is created and, and grow in the economy. Under the system, let's see how money is created in the economy. A person goes to the bank to get some loan. Now the bank takes from the person a collateral, which can be an asset, I mean inventory and in view of that the bank grants him a loan and voila money is created in the economy because as the name suggests in this system credit is money so remember in this system money is created by the banks out of thin air deposits are just needed to balance the books of the banks and all, remember this deposits are not needed to create money they are not. In fact, deposits are an outcome of the money created by banks or a thin air. For more details, check out the money presentation. Again, the link would be in the description. Now let's see how the money grows in the system. So the person who has taken the loan from the bank invests is in, biz in his business and his business luckily grows. Now the person sees future demand and he approaches the bank for more loan. The bank, since the business already has grown and the person has a bigger collateral to offer, the banks give him a bigger loan and voila, more money is created in the economy. But now comes the problem in the form of inflation. How? Let's see. Now, the person has taken loan from the bank. He, this time he also invests in business. However, this time, because of some external circumstances or due to his own wrong decisions, the business turns out bad, a malinvestment. Or the person wrongly speculates in the real estate market. He invests money in the real estate. Or worse, he just spends it on himself. In all three scenarios, the goods created or goods or services are not created as they should have been in the economy. However, we do have credit or money supply that has already been created in the economy. So the economy has more money supply than goods and services and due to this mismatch, inflation happens. Let's look at the second scenario. This time again, the person either invests his money in the business, which unfortunately doesn't grow. He invests the money in real estate, which luck good for him, rises in price. This asset price rise. In both circumstances, he approaches the bank for more loan. The bank grants them a bigger loan in both cases. This, at least in the former case, is known as what we call evergreening of loan. What happens is, with this bigger loan, the person gives back, pays back to the bank the old loan and the remaining money he uses either, let's say, for putting up his old business on road, investing again more in the real estate market or the third scenario that, that we just saw investing or put spending the money on himself in all cases again the required goods and services are not produced but 
more credit is created in the economy, leading again to more inflation. Now let's see how the government prints money. The government will print money or can print money if it wants to fund its fiscal deficit. What is fiscal deficit? In short, fiscal deficit is the excess of government spending over its revenue. The two ways in which the government can broadly fund its fiscal deficit. Now in the first way, the government issues debt in the market. This debt is bought by the domestic private investors. Now it's the domestic private investors money that funds the fiscal deficit of the government. In this case, little new money is created in the economy and because of that, what we call as the phenomenon of crowding out may occur at least on the monetary side. Now what's this phenomenon of crowding out? Now since the money pool is almost the same and the government is taking a, an increased share of money, lesser money remains for the private players in the economy and hence this can lead to an increase in interest rates and lower equity investments. In the second phenomenon or the second way to fund fiscal deficit, since the government has monopoly over money supply, it can print money. How? The government issues debt. This debt is then bought by central banks. Now, the central bank can buy that government debt directly from the government but usually it buys it indirectly through private players. And how it does that? By printing money, issuing fresh money, which in turn is deposited with the federal government, thus funding its fiscal deficit. In modern context, this is called QE or quantitative easing. What are the consequences of, of the two ways of funding the fiscal deficit for the government and the economy? In both cases, the allocation or reallocation of real resources will happen in the economy. However, as we saw in the first case, since no new money or very little of new money is created in the economy, crowding out will occur on the monetary side which can affect future investments and hence growth of the economy. In the second way, since new money is being created, no crowding out happens on the monetary side of the economy. Inflation, and this is important, inflation may or may not happen in both ways. We'll see how fiscal deficit affects inflation in the, in the further slides and how inflation can happen due to fiscal deficit. Inflation will happen due to the increased fiscal deficit only if we are close to hitting what we call boundary limits on the factors of production. So in other words, if there is slack in the factors of production, inflation is unlikely to occur. Let me explain by an example. Let's say there's a project of making a road and 100 people are employed in that project while only 50 are needed in actual. This is what we call disguised unemployment. Now, in, the, in an adjacent commercial building, there's a work going on and the contractor approaches the contractor, let's say the contractor B of that building approaches contractor A who is on the job of making road. This contractor needs 10 workers to complete the project going on in the commercial complex. The project is installing statues to improve the aesthetic value of the, of the area. Now to be fair, the economic value of this project is quite small. However, since only 10 people are needed and in any case, there is slack in the labor, there is surplus labor 
working on the project, it's easy for the contractor A to give contractor B 10 laborers. With this decision, the road work is not affected in any way. The road is completed on time and however small the economic value of the project of the project of installing statues to improve the aesthetic value is, the economy gains overall and there is no inflation. Same example, but turn around, but tweak the scenario a little bit. In this case, all 100 people are needed to make the road. And the contractor B again approaches contractor A to get 10 workers. However, this time, the contractor A declines to, to give workers to contractor B as all are needed to complete the road. Hence, contractor B offers to pay 1.5 times of wages to laborers to the laborers. That means inflation has increased in the economy since the wages of the laborers have gone up. Now, because of this, since inflation has increased in the economy, the road work also gets affected since all 100 people are needed to complete the road, 10 move to complete the project in the commercial building that has low economic value. This is the road project is delayed, the pro overall productivity of the economy is also affected. And hence, in this scenario, there is inflation. This also leads to slowdown in the economy, unlike the previous scenario when there was slack available in the labor supply. Let's say in this case, the government increases its fiscal deficit and out of its benevolence, doubles the health outlay in the economy so that all needy poor people get health cover. What will happen? You know, a technological marvel that can improve the productivity may take one or two years to create, get created. A large expressway can be then done in three to four years. But to create a doctor, it takes about 30 years. It's a human capital that takes a long time to create. And no matter, no matter the amount of money, no money can help beyond a point in that. And so, if the government does that, where would be the, where would the good quality doctors come from? And hence, because of this very decision, if it, increasing fiscal deficit in this way will immediately ensure that the boundary limits are hit. And that means the healthcare costs will zoom across the country. And this would affect the poor and the middle class in the worst possible way quite contrary to what the government's intentions were. This time in poverty elevation. Now, if the government spends aggressively on poverty elevation, the demand will increase and this and the supply would not be able to catch up immediately. This increases inflation. Sure, there would be some supply that would come on board in three to four years time, but it will not be sufficient. Why? because again lack of human capital some basic supply can come online but beyond that it will require good skilled knowledgeable workers to produce goods which will be lacking in the economy and again since we have hit the boundary limits and there is no slack of labor available in the economy inflation increase in this case as well and we have discussed this in some other presentations of about inflation and money supply, but I'll discuss it briefly here. Inflation overall in the economy, if it goes on for a longer time, leads to one thing, which is wealth transfer from poor or middle class to asset owners who are usually rich people. Well, as price increases, so does the profitability of the industries. With increased profitability of industries, the equity prices go higher. The salary prices, the salaries would increase to some nominal extent, but not enough to catch up.
to the purchasing to the losing purchasing power except in some niche areas that means overall the asset owners are gain at the expense of poor and middle class people so let's conclude with some final points fiscal deficit achieved through money printing or for that matter through the other process of crowding out private investments leads to inflation or causes inflation only if the factors of production are close to their boundary limits so if a lot of slack is present in the factors of production in the economy then money printing does not cause inflation in fact i would go to the extent and say that it's better to have fiscal deficit through money printing this will avoid the crowding out of private investments thus lowering in demand and also inefficient allocation of resources and in case someone fears inflation if if and only if the resources are tight in the economy then in any case the government should inspire, should not increase its fiscal deficit rather the fiscal deficit should be reduced if inflation is feared or an infl- high inflation already exists only in some rare situations wherein the government wants to control skewed demand or wealth transfer it wants to make for some reason is when the fiscal deficit should be funded through the crowding out process so finally fiscal deficit through money printing can cause inflation only if there is very little slack available in the economy otherwise inflation is unlikely to happen so finally the last point on this topic inflation also does happen due to money creation by banks as a consequence of private sector demand for credit this is because as we saw in this presentation some of this credit or money leads to malinvestment in the economy and thus causing inflation so thank you very much for watching this presentation i hope you like it if you did please do subscribe to this channel if you are interested in such content do like and comment if you have any queries thank you very much